very warm welcome to all you beautiful learners to India's largest online learning portal which is Unacademy. The chapter that we are going to discuss today is called A Strange Wrestling Match and this is chapter 10 and we are doing part 1 right now from your book A Pact with the Sun. You already know that you can ace your school with Unacademy's plus subscription which is coming to you at a flat 10% discount if you use my code SWS10. Also welcome to my class dear learners, my name is Sveksha and I am your English educator. It is my passion to learn and teach languages. Apart from English, I also know two other languages which are Spanish and French but English happens to be my most favorite which is why I am here teaching you the subject. So that was a little bit about me and now let's begin your chapter which is a strange wrestling match part 1. So this chapter is about a wrestler who also likes to boast and we will see where uh, this boasting lands him. Now boasting is nothing but to talk highly of oneself and to say things that you can't fulfill many times. So basically, when we say in Hindi, or if someone is holding a big hand, that is boasting. Okay? So let's begin with the chapter. There was once a wrestler called Vijay Singh. A tall man with massive shoulders and muscular arms. So uh, Vijay Singh's personality is mentioned in the first line from here until here. Okay. So he towered over others like a giant. So what is a tower? Tower? Kaisa hota hai? Tower bohat lamba hota hai? So because he is very tall, he is called a tower, a tower in this chapter. He towered over, which means sabse lamba dikta tha wo jahan bhi jaye. Okay? And could beat other wrestlers in the world. The Pahalwan had but one shortcoming. But one means he only had one shortcoming. He had no shortcoming but one. Okay? Which often landed him in awkward situations. Awkward means odd. Okay? He was fond of boasting. One day he was sitting in the marketplace surrounded by several young men. After drinking many glasses of milk, he suddenly proclaimed. So proclaim karna matlab koi cheez elan karna. Okay? So proclaim is the word which is mentioned here. And proclaim ka matlab hota hai elan karna. Okay? Proclaimed. Why are people afraid of ghosts? I am not. I wish I met a stout ghost. I teach him a lesson. There were murmurs of applause as well as apprehension among the young men. If you walk alone at night through the haunted desert, one of them said, you are sure to meet ghosts. They roam there freely. Strange shrieks and moans can be heard. Now shrieks and moans are nothing but chillana. Okay? Or awaze. Okay? Dravni awaze. Okay? So strange shrieks and moans are heard all over the place. Travelers have been looted and killed. Would you really want to go there? Vijay Singh's mighty heart missed a beat or two. Why did he have to boast? Yes, I have heard of the haunted desert. He said nonchalantly. Nonchalantly means not caring that much. Okay? Without caring so much. I think it's just a fairy tale. So he was already regretting about boasting. But now that he had said he had no other way to go back. So he said it is just a fairy tale. He, sa he said like he didn't care. Okay. Almost the entire village turned up that evening to bid him farewell when he was going to the desert to face the ghost. Who was ready to set out west? Just then an old woman came forward and uh, thrust a small packet into his hands. So there was an old woman who came forward and gave him a packet. And Vijay Singh started walking into the, the red desert red sunset of the desert as he walked the night deepened the moon was bright and the stars shone clearly now shine ka past participle has shown okay clearly in the rajasthan sky still a few miles short of his destination vijay Singh remembered the old woman's packet he opened it and found nothing but a lump of salt and an egg the woman was very, very well known for her eccentricities. Now, what is the meaning of eccentricity? Okay. Eccentricity ka matlab hota hai 
ऑड नेचर ओके डूइंग वेरी ऑड थिंग्स जो नॉर्मली लोग नहीं करते हैं ओके दैट इज एक्सेंट्रिक बिहेवियर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक मैड ओके एज विजय स्टेप्ड इन टू द हॉन्टेड डेजर्ट ही हर्ड अ वॉइस विजय सिंह विजय सिंह यू विल गेट लॉस्ट इन द डेजर्ट कम दिस वे आई एम योर फ्रेंड नटवर्ड एट वंस विजय सिंह रियलाइज इट वॉज नॉट हिज फ्रेंड बट अ गोस्ट ट्राइंग टू साउंड ब्रेव ही कॉल्ड बैक वेर आर यू माई डियर नटवर्ड इट इज डार्क आई कैनॉट सी यू कम हेयर एंड शो मी द वे लाइक ऑल गुड रेस्लर्स विजय सिंह वॉन्टेड टू साइज अप हिज एनिमी सो ही वॉज कॉलिंग दिस गोस्ट बिकॉज ही वॉन्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द साइज ऑफ हिज एनिमी सून द गोस्ट अपियर्ड एट हिज साइड एंड विजय सिंह पियर्ड इन टू हिज फेस एंड डिक्लेयर्ड यू आर जस्ट अ प्लेन लाइंग गोस्ट एनी वे नाउ आई डोंट हैव टू वॉक ऑल नाइट आई वॉज लॉन्गिंग टू मीट यू नॉट यूज टू इंसल्ट द गोस्ट वॉज टेकन अ बैक टू बी टेकन अ बैक यानी टू बी शॉक्ड ओके जस्ट वन सेकेंड एट यू मार्क दैट प्रॉपरली टू बी टेकन अ बैक मीन्स टू बी शॉक्ड ओके टू बी एब्सोल्यूटली शॉक्ड पीपल जनरली स्टार्टेड बैक इन हॉर वेन दे मेट हिम दे ऑफन फेंटेड बट हेयर वॉज एन अनफीलिंग क्रिएचर क्लेमिंग क्लेमिंग ही वॉन्टेड टू मीट अ गोस्ट इट डेंट मेक एनी सेंस really i don't know why you long to meet me the ghost said that proves said vijay singh in a bored voice that you are a stupid ghost the least a ghost can do is to read a man's thoughts however a worthless ghost like you is better than no ghost the the fact is i am tired of wrestling with men i want to fight a ghost the ghost was speechless so this ghost got extremely shocked because no one had ever wanted to meet a ghost and he was hearing this for the very first time the ghost was speechless marshaling his ghostly wits he made an attempt to uh, look vijay singh scornfully in the eye frankly he said you don't appear all that strong to me so the ghost also is not any less he also said you don't appear all that strong to me appearances can be deceptive vijay singh said take your own case you claim to be nutwar though actually you are a rascal of a ghost if you doubt any of if you doubt my strength let me give you a demonstration of it so that is your part one of this chapter and now let's look at the questions what was vijay singh's weakness which awkward situation did it push him into so we see it in the first page of this chapter that vijay singh's weakness was to boast he used to boast a lot and it landed him into the awkward situation of going into the desert all alone at night which he did not want to do and he had to fight a ghost question number 2 what was the old man's gift to vijay old woman's gift to vijay singh's uh, okay uh, was the old woman's gift to vijay singh eccentric why so what did the old woman give to vijay singh Uh, the old woman gave some salt and an egg to vijay singh okay and that is eccentric because who gives anyone salt and egg okay those two things cannot make any kind of combination so that is why it is a little eccentric why did vijay singh and the ghost uh, why why did vijay singh ask the ghost disguised as nutwar to come closer we see that in the chapter that uh, vijay singh asks the ghost to come closer because he wanted to understand what is the size of this ghost so that he is able to understand whether he will be able to beat the ghost or not what made the ghost speechless and why when vijay singh said that he wanted to meet the ghost okay the ghost was really shocked and surprised because no one had ever said that he really wanted to meet the ghost so this is why the ghost was shocked and surprised and speechless of course why did vijay singh say appearances can be deceptive so vijay singh said that appearances can be deceptive because the ghost uh, had disguised as nutwar and uh, he was he wasn't really nutwar which is why uh, vijay singh said that the appearance and the appearance of a person can be deceptive and the ghost also was telling him that you don't look all that strong so in both the cases 
uh, we are talking about the appearances the ghost said that you are not as strong as you proclaim to be and uh, vijay singh said that you are not my friend nan nat were as you proclaim to be which is why appearances were deceptive so that brings us to the end of this chapter hopefully it this was a small one hopefully you were able to understand this and on academy's plus subscription features are right now on your screen you can learn from uh, learn in live classes from all of our amazing uh, mentors gathered from all over india there is an unlimited access to all the courses regular doubt clearing answer writing session exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus mentorship and guidance study material available in pdf format practice test live test series and batch courses The pricing for the Un Academy's Plus subscription is right now on your screen, and you can get a flat ten percent discount if you use my code S W S ten. Also, Un Academy's iconic subscription is the most amazing. You get a personal mentor, which means there will be someone who will be looking after your studies. You get live doubt solving, which means you can ask a doubt any time and get the response there and then. weekly report is available you, your parents can connect with us to know uh, your uh, progress during the week there is a study planner that you get and all the benefits of the un academy's plus subscription so that was it from me uh, in this class i will be back with part 2 of the same chapter please do like share and subscribe to this channel also hit the bell icon so that you never ever miss any class from us Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great evening ahead. Bye bye.